product is so effective that actually the Alberta government coughed up half a million dollars for a double-blind clinical trial at the University of Calgary. That doesn't happen every day. They're also unusual in the depths that Health Canada went to to take EMPower Plus off of the market. So Health Canada shut down this double-blind clinical trial funded by the Alberta government, run by the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Calgary. Um, and you know why, at the end of the day? Because it had germanium in it. Can you imagine? Germanium is, is allowed as a, a supplement in our market. But anyway, they were protecting us from the evils of germanium. They also um, went after True Hope. <clears throat> Starting in the year 2000 and then culminating in the year 2003, they, they gave True Hope an ultimatum. They said, you stop selling now. And True Hope said to them, we have thousands of Canadians that we are successfully managing on EMPower Plus who have bipolar disorder. They are normal again. They're back to work. They're back at school. They're not in psych wards anymore. We cannot take EMPower Plus off the market or there will be suicides and there will be hospitalizations and people will go back to the psych ward. And some of you will be going, geez, those are grand words. Like, who are these guys that they make claims like this? Really, right? Okay, let me give you some perspective because Health Canada charged them for selling without a drug identification number for all of the year 2003. And I was their lawyer and I forced the world's expert in treating bipolar disorder to take the stand. I had to subpoena him to get him there. <clears throat> and once he's on the stand, he has to answer my questions. His name is Dr. Charles Popper. He teaches at the Faculty of Medicine at Harvard Medical School in Boston. He will not teach medical students. He won't even teach doctors. He will teach psychiatrists how to become child and adolescent psychiatrists. There are two psychiatric boards in the U.S. that will certify you to be a psychiatrist. He helped set up both of their standards boards. He pioneered drug treatments and diagnoses for children. So he's the guy that pioneered how do you diagnose a child with depression and what chemical pharmaceutical drugs do you use to treat depression in children? He basically explained and pioneered how you diagnose a child with bipolar disorder. Very widespread in the US, less so in Canada. And the protocol then for treating them with adult psychiatric drugs. He is the founding editor of the Journal of Child and Adolescent Psychopharmacology and was its editor for 10 years. He's the only psychiatrist at the time of the trial that Harvard would allow to have a clinical practice in any of their hospitals. And he would get the bipolar patients that the other psychiatrists couldn't handle. So if you were a psychiatrist in the Boston area and you had a bipolar patient who couldn't, you couldn't handle, you referred them to Charles Popper. So this guy got the worst of the worst. <clears throat> it would take me probably about 20 minutes to explain to you how this guy who's Mr. Pharmaceutical would even allow a single patient to try a vitamin and mineral supplement for bipolar. So I'm going to skip that story. Suffice it to say that one of his patients, against his better judgment, ended up on EMPower Plus and what got well. And when they took him off EMPower Plus, got sick and put him back on EMPower Plus and he got well. And so this got him thinking. And he had a female patient. It didn't matter what drug cocktails he tried. She just didn't respond. She just suffered. And so he thought, well, I'm going to let her try Empower Plus. And she got well. So then he had you know, another tough case, and he tried it. And before you know it, basically his whole practice is on Empower Plus. And he said, in court, under oath, it destroyed his practice. Now listen carefully. So I asked him, well, what do you mean it destroyed your practice? And he said, look, it, when I'm managing my patients on the chemical pharmaceutical drugs, I have to meet with them weekly. Every patient I have to meet weekly with to counsel them not to commit suicide. He's got the worst of the worst, and basically most of his job is counseling them not to commit suicide. And he also explained, and these chemical pharmaceutical drugs I have them on, they create so many side effects, I'm constantly having to manage the side effects. I put my patients on EMPower Plus, and listen to this, I meet with them every three to six months. We don't discuss suicide because they're not suicidal. They're back at work, they're back at university. 
And we're not managing side effects because with EM Power Plus, maybe the first four to six weeks, you kind of have stomach upset and then you have no side effects. So he said it destroyed his practice. So actually what he did is he just took on way more patients, treated them with EM Power Plus, and took on so many more patients that he was still filling his day.